Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming to Cooking with E on Destroyer 1320. Today we're going to give this old Traeger here a new lease on life. Stay tuned. So before I get too far into this and start ripping this thing apart, I want to show you why I want to give it a new lease on life. Uh, well, this weekend it kind of let me down. It's my own fault, but uh, 4th of July I was six hours into a 10 hour cook on a pork shoulder and this happened. No! So as you can see, it started smoking out of the hopper. What causes that? Well, I got a whole bunch of different ideas from a lot of people on Traeger Nation Facebook, which I really appreciate. Uh, but I know one thing I've not done in a long time is clean out the auger that runs in here that pushes your pellets in. And I've been neglecting this thing for a while. As you can tell, it needs to be cleaned up. It's, uh, it's not very happy. When I put the shelf on, I didn't quite get it level, so it hangs down a little. A lot of things I want to fix on it. The old thing, it's got some rust starting. Look at that. I gotta get rid of that and get it all fixed up and painted. I can't, I can't have a cooking channel and showing you guys stuff. Have a broke down Traeger. And then if you look on the back here, got a little bit of rust. I'm out in Arizona so we don't get it too bad, but you can see it's just been neglected. Need to give the old girl some love, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to pull this thing over in the garage and let's get started. So I went ahead and took the grill grate out and all the goodies. The uh, cover pan there and the grill grate, the drip pan. I wanted to see what this looks like after my little uh, smoky fire experience experience on the fourth so you can see this is a little dirty it's not all the way up I definitely should clean that out I'm going to obviously but I'm not going to clean a lot of this stuff out now I've replaced this is your temperature sensor I've replaced this already so that's uh, pretty new I'll just clean it up a little bit but you can see there's a nice little coating of love in there it smells just amazing I'm gonna clean out my chimney a little bit uh, my drain hole look how full that is I definitely got to clean that out. That could be part of it. You got to have airflow with your chimney and that hole down there. Otherwise, it will start sucking back the smoke back down in through the auger and then back out your pot or back out your hopper. So I'm going to go ahead and look at the heat rod right here and let's take a look and see. It don't look too bad. I've replaced that twice. Uh, that's that little piece right down there. Excuse my finger and I've replaced I've replaced that a couple times as well uh, It looks like it's in decent condition, but I can definitely see there is some toasty love Up in there you can see where it was burning. I think that's from the soot that's in the bottom of the can so let's look in here. I've, I emptied this out and see this real fine dust here? That's the culprit. That's what gets caught up in your auger and it makes a whole mess out of everything. So what I'm gonna do is plug this in and get that auger spinning and have it all push out into my bowl here. And once I get all that stuff out, then I'll go ahead and vacuum both sides of it, run it again and see if I get any more junk out of it until I know it's clear. Okay, I got it, I got it plugged in now. I'm going to crank this thing all the way up on high because I want to crank these pellets or whatever the heck is in there on through the auger. If it starts to smoke, I'll shut it off. My auger turning? Yeah, my auger is turning. through there. I'm 
I'm going to shut it off before it starts to heat up. And I'll do that again until I get stuff out. Once I start getting stuff out, I'll start recording again. All right, I ran that through for a while and it really didn't, uh, didn't spit anything out. I think it all actually burned up inside there. But I still got a little bit of crumbles down here. Let me introduce you to the best vac I've ever seen for these things. It's called Snow Joe. You look it up, it's four ashes. When you suck the ashes out, you don't have them spraying out the back or shooting everywhere like I did when I bought just a cheap car version from like AutoZone or something. So spend a little bit of money, get yourself a Snow Joe. They vacuum off, uh, awesome, it's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and crank this thing up, get these pellets out of here. Let's go ahead and clean this out. As you can see, this thing works pretty darn good. And there's absolutely no dust coming out. It's kind of hard to do this and look through the camera, but we're going to make her happy. It does have a metal end on it, so it, it can actually kind of push down through that crusty stuff, loosen it up. You gotta be kind of gentle around your heat rod, though. All right, I'm gonna finish this up. Be right back. This flathead to clean all this out. Get that thing open back up so I can get some air flow. Yes, I know it's where the grease trap is, but I ain't grease or air enough to get through that right now. this out a little more you can see right there's the burnt pellets that were actually deep about in here in the auger so I keep cleaning that out too I'll go ahead and take off that shelf So take a look at that. I'm concerned a little bit, but it just seems to be the surface. See, it's just surface rust. There's not actually a hole anywhere in there. It's not getting thin, so I'll probably probably treat it with some rust inhibitor before I go and respray it after I clean all that garbage off. But uh, yeah, I got some work to do here. Let's keep rolling. The other tool I'm using today is this grill brush. These things are really stiff. I can't even hardly, can't even hardly bend them. But using that for areas like this, Starts peeling that stuff right off. Probably use it here a little bit. Anything that's real hard, that's where I'm going to scrub it off. Now I'm not going to go too crazy because I want to keep that seasoning in there. You can see all the love that's been built up. I want to keep some of that right there. That stuff, I don't want to take that off. That's what when you open that grill lid and it looks like that, it smells like heaven. That's seasoning. That takes a long time to build up and it's not bad for the grill. But I got a lot of work to do here. This is just cold. So I'm going to get back to work. Just wanted to show you another quick tool that I'm using to clean this thing out. Oop, popped a hole. Working too hard already. Jeez. All 
probably making some progress on this. As you can see, I've been chipping away. I mean, that's a whole lot better than we had before. But I'm gonna keep getting that a little cleaner. I went ahead and popped off the chimney cover. <laughs> Take a look at this. Kind of embarrassing that I haven't cleaned it before, but when you're smoking, you're smoking. Look at the buildup on that bad boy. But if you want to take that off, it's just a 7 16 Yeah, check out this. This might be a little bit of an issue. I just have way too much buildup in there. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that out as well. And we're going to keep rolling. I'm going to have to make this a two-part series because this is, uh, I got a whole lot going on right now. So I started sanding on the front of that a little bit. But today is going to be prep. I'm going to get this thing all set up. I'm still getting the rest of those nuggets out of the hopper there but we're gonna keep rolling so I took the chimney off here it's got a, a gasket you can see the gasket right here I'll probably uh, re definitely have to replace that but you can look in there that is all sorts of mess lots of love lots of smiles and good food came through there but I'm gonna get her all cleaned out just wanted to show you by the way the two bolts are 7 16 Be sure you put the nut and the bolt back together after you take them out so you don't get them mixed up with anything. Okay, so I got the gasket off and got that surface cleaned up. Uh, some paint came off with it, that's fine. I'm gonna repaint this whole thing anyway. And then I got the gasket off of the chimney here. Still sanding that down a little bit, but there's a big difference. Got that scraped out pretty good. I'm gonna do a little bit more, but you can see a whole lot better than we was. I'm gonna keep on going. What I've been using is just a flathead screwdriver and my little super brush there. And uh, starting to get it cleaned out. I started sanding on this just a little bit. Just starting to get some of that stuff off there. Gonna keep making progress. Okay, so I worked on the top of the chimney there, the flue. Got a lot of that stuff off. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a little sandpaper on there, maybe WD-40 and clean, get that all good and cleaned up. But uh, moving on to taking off the handle on this door, on the lid, I'm just taking a pair of pliers, came loose real easy. They're already starting to get loose as you can see. I'll pull this handle off so I can get that lid prepped. I'm gonna leave my badge on. I believe I'm just gonna tape off the, the little emblem here so I don't get paint on it. Because I think that one's pretty. I may clean them up a little bit. And we'll go from there. One other thing I'm going to add to the grill uh, as I redo it is this uh, Broil Pro accessory. It's 800 degree rated temp. It's like smoker gasket. It's uh, got self stick on the back. It's 15 foot long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and put that on the inside of the lid all the way around up to there to see if I can get it to keep some more of the smoke in. Cause this thing, as you can tell, I don't even know how old this thing is. I've had it for seven years and the guy before me said he had it for three to five years. So it's at least 10 years old. I've replaced the controller with the one that has a cool down option on it. My old one, the original one did not have a cool down. You just turned it off and it was off. And I, I went through two heat rods before I realized, oh, probably upgrade the controller and you won't keep having to spend that money. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get to sanding on some of this stuff and get us to where we can uh, get it prepped for paint. Well, this is kind of fun, I gotta show you. I was scraping some of the paint off here because it was bubbling. And very interestingly, I don't know, people like me, this is a great place to set your, yep, your beverage. So it looks like he had a beer sitting here. I don't know, maybe he was doing shots over here, but I've set my beer here once or twice, but not long enough to make it where it breaks. So, interesting, kind of funny. Good place to set your beer. Maybe I'll put an extra thick coating right about there so I still got that little spot. So I'm getting this sanded down pretty good, getting the high spots down, trying to get it nice and smooth so I can 
with some rust inhibitor and then give it a good paint. But I started looking into this and I've not taken one of these apart before, but this is welded to this. And these bolts here are just for holding on your legs with your wheels on them. So as I'm feeling around here, I'm like, oh, okay, I got another one there. And being a car guy, I'm gonna head to look underneath it. Well, you can see we got a couple of issues here. It's not rusted through, but it's definitely got a nice healthy amount of surface rust on it that I don't like. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand that as well while I'm getting into this. So, alrighty, see you in a little bit. So here's how far I got in day one. I was able to get this thing pretty well pulled apart and identify all the areas I need to work on, including the beer spot here. I just, uh, if you guys don't know, on the older models at least, all you do to, to bring this lid all the way up, pull this piece in and it just comes right up. But I got the handle off it, I got our auger all emptied out, well almost, that's the last of the pellets that were in it. Uh, got this little tray down here cleaned out, the front's starting to get sanded, cleaned out our flue, getting ready to make my gasket for that. I'll show you the process of that on the next video. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching the channel. Part two will be coming tomorrow. I just wanted to get this done and uh, get this uploaded so you can see what I'm getting into. It's fun when you start peeling it back. As we know, oh, it's not too bad a project. <laughs> yeah. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys. See you next time.